It is Kennedy 2 3. Slater and Melissa here with Cameron Marlowe, who's already taken the Country Thunder stage. How was it out there? It was incredible. Honestly, this is my favorite Country Thunder I've played yet, and I do mean that. We played all the other <laughs> ones so far, and uh, yeah, tonight was. Awesome. Okay, even the heat? Even, even, even the, heat, the heat, it was worth like it. <laughs> it was worth it. I had a blast. Well, we had some people come up to our tent and say that ever since they saw you on tour with Brad Paisley, they've been huge fans. So how was that tour? With oh, I mean, God. Brad, he's played multiple shows here and been amazing. So it has got to be a good mentor. Absolutely. It has been a wonderful experience. We've just been trying to learn as much as we can from him and Jimmy Allen both. And uh, yeah, we couldn't ask for a better tour, tour partners. And we're just enjoying it and learning. And it's great to have our first tour. Yeah. So were you in Tampa when you came? I through? was. So the heat, you're used to then. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It was nice and warm for that one. <laughs> yeah, how did that news go that he broke that on the 29th, you're going to be at the Opry, you're having your debut? Right? Man, it was such an insane experience because my whole family was there, all my friends were there because we did it back in, or he did it uh, in my hometown. Yeah. So that was just insane to be able to share that with my whole family and all my friends and everything like that that came to the show. So. Yeah, it was amazing. As you do, so like on the ground, you can't see in the shot right now, but you guys get your your uh, guitars and all your stuff that you take <laughs> on the plane. Have you ever had a nightmare experience where you get it back and security has to go through or stuff doesn't get there? Every three flights, I would say that something's oh. just destroyed <laughs> at least one of them. And this, this is a knock. If you work security yeah. at the airport, it's totally fine. Except you, Toby, you do a really crappy <laughs> job. <laughs> We're watching you. Don't throw those as hard. So I'm going to be bluntly honest here and let you know that the first time I heard your song, I thought it was sober as a drum and I didn't know how that made sense. Nope. <laughs> and then I, I learned that, okay, okay, no, I'm wrong. Um, and so I'm just curious if there's ever been a time that you have either sang words really badly wrong, you know, or like lyrics for your song that somebody else besides mine has really messed up. Oh, this is an every weekend. Really? Occurrence. Yes, I sing lyrics wrong all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, like I'll have a couple shots of whiskey before we even go out there. Even your own songs? Oh, even my own songs. Oh, okay. yeah, I meant, no, like, is there any, like, uh, you know, because obviously we all singing, you know, I on the radio, I've called myself Slater before and I've called him Melissa, so it happens. Totally true. Um, so I was just curious if there's, like, been a very popular song that maybe you know everyone knows the lyrics to. Oh, I have botched uh, Neon Moon, and, like, every <laughs> single time. We stopped playing it because I botched it so many times, like, and I love that mm. song. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just <laughs> happens. Is, is it a knock on those guys? Because I, I think Brooks and Dunn, you talk about Neon Moon, actually do have the words scrolling, and I saw even yesterday they somebody had an iPad with all the lyrics of it, and really? then they just with their foot, I or uh, I guess toe, just kind of kick up the lyrics so that way they could see what the next line is. With their toe? With their toe. Do you, can you yeah. scroll with your toe? I don't know if I'll be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you got to make it look like it's a pedal, or it's actually on the monitor, yeah. so that way you can do the rock thing of putting your foot up and getting it done. <laughs> I think we should I respect all, it. Yeah, we're a little um, captain in. So what is your biggest career goal right now? Because then obviously as you get bigger, you're gonna that's gonna change a little bit. But right now, what is your ultimate career goal? Oh, ultimate career goal, this is long term, way, way out there. I would love to sell out a stadium one day. Okay. Even if it's just one, just to be able well, to say that I did it one time. The day be, you do, we'll replay this. All right. And we'll be like, yeah. here's the day he told us that this is what uh, we wanted to happen and it did. Yeah. Well, we hope so. <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest. All right, well, you killed it out at Country Thunder. We're so excited that you were here. I mean, obviously it was hot, but everyone out there is drinking beer and partying with you. Absolutely. So, Cameron Marlowe.